Hello and welcome to another edition of The Grow Show Live here with Tree Service Digital, Tree Service Marketing Profits Podcast and the Tree Service Marketing Secrets Facebook group. Hope everybody's having a great week so far. I had another extremely important topic that I wanted to bring and do a quick video on, a quick video training. Of course, if you're on this live, you can also uh, ask questions, frequently ask questions, any question that you have about digital marketing while we're on today. So I'm live. I can answer your question live. If you have a question, pop it into the comments there. StreamYard should allow you access to just comment on this video, whether you're seeing it on Facebook, whether you're seeing that on YouTube. And I'm happy to answer any question you have on any digital marketing topic, whether that's your Google business profile, your maps, your local service ads, your Google ads, your website, anything that you want to discuss or have a question about, pop it on the comments here, even if you're seeing the replay later. Go ahead and comment on the video that you're seeing. We always get around to responding and get you the answers to your questions. So again, thanks so much for being here today. This is the Grow Show Live Wednesday, May 1st, 2024. Wow, we're in a new month already. It is May. The year is flying by as per usual. Last five to 10 years for me are going by extremely fast. So I'm sure it is for you as well, especially when you're busy. Um, hopefully you guys are busy and doing well. So I wanted to get right into it today. So one of the most important topics I think out there, is, and a lot of people are just failing to do this. We see this time and time again, pretty much every time we're talking to a new customer, new client, or we're implementing our program, we just see that people are leaving money on the table. And the reason they're leaving money on the table is because they're not marketing to their previous customers, right? So you've done tree service work. Um, plant healthcare, tree healthcare over the last several years, decades, however long your business has been around. And for certain, you've got thousands probably of customers that you've touched, given estimates to, spoke with that know, like, and trust you, right? And one of the things that we see a lot of times is you're just not marketing or tree service companies in general, any blue collar company out there, um, or even any company, period. That doesn't even have to be a specific trade or anything like that. Um, basically are failing to market to their customers. So I just wanted to bring this up today to let you guys know of what you can do um, in order to kind of build a fence around your customers and make sure that they continue to hear from you over and over again. That way they don't lose like a memory of your business or they don't, you know, a lot of times what people will do is they're like, man, I used this tree service company two or three years ago and they were great. Like I really liked all the people. Um, they were nice. The crew cleaned up really, really well. And I'm just, I was super happy with them, but I just cannot for the life of me find, um, the name of this business. Right. And they can't remember who it was, or they don't know who to call. But if you're sending them out frequently, you know, email newsletters once a month with a current topic about tree care or, you know, a quarterly incentive or, Hey, right now is the best time of the year to trim your trees, prune your trees, fertilize your trees, whatever the case may be then they're going to remember you. And they're also going to gravitate to your tree company as the expert tree service company in the area. And so that's what I wanted to discuss today. So I'm going to go ahead and share this document with you. And I'll show you kind of the best ways to market to your existing customers and kind of the easiest way to do that. So basically what you would do, let me go ahead and share this with you really quick here. All right, well, this is loading and pulling up here. Let's see what we got going on. All right, let me pull up this behind here, see if you can see my slide here. Okay, now it looks like it's still not showing. Let's see if this is actually showing here. All right, there's a little lag here with the buffering on the Facebook feed. So I just wanna make sure it's showing the slide so you can see this. Yeah, it looks like you're not able to see that. Let me just do this. Let me share just the document.
Well, let's see if that is showing today. StreamYard looks a little bit different today. Not sure what is going on here. Go back to the previous screen. does not appear to be showing this document that I want to show here. So this is, okay, let's see. All right. Oh, here we go. I think I know what happened there. I believe that is now showing the document. Let me make sure I check here. Yes. All right. So let's get right into it. So if you are in business and you've got thousands of customers, hundreds of customers over the last several years, this is something that you're definitely leaving money on the table and leaving opportunities on the table by not repeatedly marketing to your old existing customers, previous customers, previous people you've given estimates to, et cetera. These people all know who you are. So reminding them to give you a call is going to go a long way. So this is going to be titled, What Marketing Should I Do to My Existing and Past Customers? Well, number one, email marketing. So email is a really good way to send out an educational newsletter or some sort of like informational email where your company branding is on it, your logo is on it. Maybe just like, you know, you highlight one of your services, XYZ tree service, you know, is providing a uh, land clearing service in all of these markets. Give us a call if you want professional land clearing. We can come out and give you a uh, complimentary estimate on the land. We can walk it with you and show you kind of what, what you need to get done. So an email like that, maybe show a good review, a testimonial on the email, good contact information on there, maybe a link to your website where people can click on that, and just a lot of branding. Maybe another little quick tip below that, or highlight a blog article where you've explained how to do some sort of tree care related tree pruning or tree removal, uh, fertilizing trees, whatever the case may be, and any, highlight any kind of service on there. And these emails over time, going out monthly, you know, two times a quarter, how often, you know, however often you're comfortable doing it, we, we suggest once a month, um, they'll continue to brand your company as the go-to tree service expert. And again, these people are going to be needing tree services at some point in the future. So if you're the one that's sending out these emails, it just creates a lot more impressions as well of your business name, branding, everything else. So it's just very powerful to do that. So get in the routine of sending out a professional email newsletter to your previous customers, mention your new services, seasonal specials, or an incentive to get them to call your company to come out for an estimate. Remember, they already know, like, and trust your business. So don't leave money on the table. Build a fence around your existing customers. It really, really helps. Number two, you can do it this day and age. You need to be approved within the A2P platform uh, for text messaging. So basically it just means your business has to be verified, a real business, have business information online that uh, the text platform A2P can sync up to and just make sure you're a legitimate business. But text messaging is very, very powerful. Uh, they get about 98% open rate uh, out there whenever they get delivered. So if you think about it, everybody's texting their friends, family, whoever, pretty much all day, every day, right? That's what they're in. They're in their texting inbox all the time. So when you send a text message out from your company, they're going to see it for at least probably three to five days a week. Because um, when, you, when you think about it, when you go into your text message on your phone, you open up your text app. Generally, you have a couple of conversations with some friends at the top that stays there because it's repeated you know, messaging over and over. But you've got a couple other messages below that that you're going to see each time you log in to your, go to your text app. Um, and so your company's text will be in their phone that they're using all day, every day. And they'll be able to see your business right there on text messaging. Now, you can always have and you have to actually to comply with the rules, have an opt out message, you know, press stop to stop receiving texts, you know, so some people, you know, will press that button and it's no problem. They won't get any more text messages if your system's set up the right way. But I can't tell you how many appointments, how many calls 
our clients get with a once a quarter, twice a quarter text message marketing campaign. This is very effective. You know, email marketing can be somewhere around 25 to 35 percent email deliverability. Text marketing is 98 percent. So everybody pretty much is always going to get your text message. And it's very effective for getting people to call you, uh, take advantage of a special that you have that month or a seasonal type tree care pruning technique or something that you want to offer your existing customers. So I just want to tell you that one is very, very effective. Number three, direct mail. By the way, guys, if you have any questions during this, just go ahead and post a comment. Happy to come back and, and answer your, your comment, any question you may have. Uh, thanks for being on today. I see several people on live. Um, the third, last but not least, is direct mail. So there's a lot of companies out there you can plug into where you can give them your contact database and they will literally send out gifts or thank you cards in, in a certain quarterly cadence or a monthly cadence. And that way your customers that you've already done business with before get communications from your office uh, frequently, right? And this is really good for referrals and things like that. So you could also just have your own direct mail campaigns that goes out. It could be like a thank you letter and you just upload your database uh, into one of these direct mail platforms and you can create the direct mail piece yourself, you know, or have someone design it for you. And it just goes out thanking them for their past business. Do you have any trees that need trimmed? We're offering XYZ incentive this month. Um, since you've been a previous customer of ours here at XYZ Tree Service, give us a call, you know, that type of thing. So direct mail is very, very effective also uh, in just touching your customers again and again and again. And same goes with text and email. So if you're asking yourself as a tree service business, what can I do to get my past previous customers to give me a call again? I don't want them calling my competitive uh, tree companies you know, in the area, my competitors. I want them to give us a call. I know we're the best tree service company. They had a great experience with our tree service company. Heck, many of them, hundreds of them, dozens of them gave us a five-star review. So if that's the case, you want to make sure that you're continually marketing to your customer base. And I don't want you to look at this as being intrusive or bothersome. You just need to remind people that you're in business. If you think about it, if you're not telling everybody about your business and advertising your business, it, there's going to be a lot of peaks and valleys in your business. You really need to be advertising, marketing, and shouting from the rooftops your business and your services. And other people will do the same thing if you guys do provide excellent work. Um, you clean up really nice, you know, as far as the job site, the property, you take really good care of people's property. You got to be telling people you're in business and what better way to do it than texting, emailing and direct mailing. So I wanted to do this really quick tidbit today for you. Hopefully you got some value out of that and open it up for any comments or questions. If you have any comments or questions, just go ahead and post them there in the comment box. And whether you're on YouTube or whether you're on the uh, Facebook Tree Service Digital page. Just post a comment if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll wrap this up here in just a few minutes. But just want to let you know, we got several good podcast episodes coming up, interviews with experts already kind of lined up. So you want to make sure you tune in, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel here at Tree Service Digital. We've got lots of content coming out for you guys really, really soon. Lots of shorts and different things like that we're adding. Um, if you're not a member of the Tree Service Marketing Secrets Facebook group, it's a free group on everything tree service marketing, best practices, coaching. Uh, CRM systems to keep you know your customer database intact, all of that stuff, keep you guys organized, all those different things. We just have a lot of good tidbits, like experts in there as well. Um, so let us know if you have any questions. Podcast is called Tree Service Marketing Profits Podcast. It's on every major podcast player. If you go to the Tree Service Digital page, you'll see a lot of links to those podcasts there in the about section. And um, appreciate your time today. If you've been joining live, thanks for being here. And until next week's growth show live, I'll wrap this video up and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much.